Hi, today we're going to look at Canva and how to record a presentation so that it's captivating and your audience loves it and learns a lot from your presentation because that's the idea. The idea when you present is for others to learn and to be immersed in your story because every presentation is a story. Right, so we're going to click on create. Notice we can also scroll down and see that um, there are different ways. These are mine. Uh, there are different ways of presenting by recording. So uh, you've got different sizes here. You can scroll through that. I'm going to go into create and um, until I get to a presentation. There we are. There's one and the size that I want. You can also resize it, but I think that it's better for you to use a uh, regular size and not a shorts, unless you're doing a shorts video, because your presentation will become a video when you record your voice. Now, there are two options here uh, once we get started. So first, um, let's look for presentation. I think VR, AR is a good start. We can go into the metaverse or we can stay on virtual reality uh, metaverse, or we are the change. Whatever you want, you can always change the colors and everything. So we're going to choose future VR. I don't know if you like the colors, but as I said, you can change that as well. Going to apply all 10. You should do at least 10 slides for best viewing. Next, uh, we're going to start by going into presentation at the top there next to share click on that and then present and record because we're going to record our voice then we're going to go to next go to the recording studio that may take a little bit of time and then we're going to set our audio and video there it's all set up notice um, your cameras up here and the audio is there and then you're going to start recording. Here we go. We're ready to record. And then you'll record. You can always pause, of course, if you need to breathe and so on. You're going to go through the recording and speak as you go through it. Remember, you're going to add lots of images that speak because we want our story to be reflected in the images. We're going to add a few headings, not too much so that we can speak. We never read. Do not read. Just tell your story as you look at the slide. And that's what the uh, audience will do. They will be looking at your slides and reading what's there, but you don't want them to spend too much time reading. You want them to listen to your voice as you capture the story and try to immerse them in your story. That's the idea, All right? When you're finished, you go into end recording and then it'll upload and be ready to go. Be patient because it will happen. It just may take a little bit of time. And then you can copy it, save and exit. That's one way of doing it. Another way, make sure that you put the copy, make sure that you also give it a name. You want, we want to do that, okay? So we're going to call this demo. Give it a name. That's important. I should have mentioned that before. Next, you're going to go. Notice you can also record yourself from here on the left there. Notice I'm looking at the left now and I want to get uh, DID into this. So at the very bottom, it'll say DID. You need to connect Canva with it. So you need to get an account on DID. Once you get an account, you simply connect it with Canva. It's really, really easy. So I'm going to click on connect. You get free credits, lots of credits. I don't remember how many, I think about 30, but it's really worth your while. Let me continue here so that it knows how many credits I have because you don't, it's not free forever. So make sure that uh, you take advantage of that so you don't have to pay. What's going to happen with DID is that you get an image or use one of their presenters, but I think an image is better. It could be an image of you or someone that is close to you that you'd like to present, or it could be an avatar. 
maybe your avatar from somewhere else. And the avatar will speak after it goes through DID. So let me show you how that's done. All right, so notice these are my avatars. Every time you change an avatar, you lose credit, so to speak. All right, so here you have to go through each slide. So you're going to use, if you've got 10 slides, that's 10 different avatars, so to speak. So let me use this one who will be speaking. And what is the avatar going to say? Well, you're going to add your text here, whatever it happens to be. My text is, uh, this is a demo of how to use Canva and present. Okay, just to have something, you can't say too much, all right? So notice I only have four credits. And the voice that I'm going to have, I think is Jenny. I think Jenny was okay, I don't remember, maybe Ashley. Um, you can preview the speech and see what they sound like. This is like. a demo of how to use Canva and Present. No, I don't think I liked Ashley, but I know I don't like Anna because Anna sounds like a kid, but maybe you want Anna, maybe you want. This is a demo of how to use Canva and Present. Yeah, no, that's not good either. You might want to use a guy, it doesn't have to be. Okay, choose one. This is a demo of how to use Canva and Present. Notice some of them sound more robotic than others. I think that Jenny sounded the best, really. All right, and then um, you go through each slide. Okay, so uh, let me generate the presenter. And then the presenter will appear and be me or be the presenter instead of having my camera there it's going to have the camera of the avatar all right so i think we're ready here i think we'll put the and there and now we're ready to go are you ready all right here goes this is a demo of how to use canva and present Okay, there's a lag here because I'm using a screen recorder to record this. But that's the idea. And then you can continue presenting. Notice I did this for the third slide. I can move this to the first one if that's what I want. But right now it's, um, it's here in the third one. But I can also copy it, of course, and move it to the first one. All right, let's... Um, share this so you go into share once you finish presenting you can use a combination of course you can add it to google drive or view only link or you can also um, download it and remember when you're downloading make sure that it's not pdf <laughs> that it's an mp4 because your recording will be an mp4 and if you want all 10 depending on how many slides you want and then you simply download. You can also share in your social network. You don't want to do that. What you want to do actually is just share the link. So we're going to simply share the link, view only link, copy it, and you're good to go. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, and I'll be happy to respond.